welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video on something very special. Now it is a 2015 model year 16 VF Series 2 SSV. Now it's not just any ordinary SSV, it is very exciting and I will show you exactly why as we walk around the vehicle and once we pop the bonnet. Starting off at the front, we have got those very iconic VF headlights there with the projector beam bulb there which is going to give you a very clear beam of light at night. In that blue the vehicle does look absolutely stunning with that black grille there with the Holden badging right in the middle and that LS3 badging right down there as well. Now the thing I love about the Series 2 SSVs is that DRL there with the vent on the side there. It does look really nice and we have got color matched parking sensors on the front so really easy to park this vehicle as well. Being the Series 2 we do also get that uh, that vent up there and it does look incredible but it is also a functional vent so it will actually keep your engine very nice and cool and for what's under there it is going to uh, serve a lot of purpose. Now that first wheel there they are Hustler rims they do look absolutely stunning with the blue and black contrast and that red Brembo right in the middle of that wheel does stand out a lot and looks absolutely incredible. Now it is all fun and games having this much power but when it comes to stopping you're going to want those high quality Brembos so it's good to know that we've got them and with that slightly lowered suspension as well the clearance in those wheels does look really stunning. We have got a vent along this guard here with the indicator built in. It is a non-functional vent. It's just there for looks, but it does look really nice as well. Now we have got the Techno badge along the bottom there. I will, when we open the bonnet, show you exactly what this Techno pack includes, but it does look really nice. And we have got the color matched side mirrors and door handles. Now the windows in this are tinted. So it's good to know that the inside of the vehicle is being kept cool. And if we have a look inside here, it is good to know that the bolsters are still in really good condition for a 2015 model. Being the Techno Edition, you do also get the Techno uh, scuff plates down there as well. And real credit to the previous owner because the doors haven't been scuffed where people usually kick it open. Having a look at that next alloy wheel there, the Hustler alloy once again in that black does look stunning, completely unmarked. We have got Brembos on the back there as well. The fuel filler cap is on the driver's side, standard across all Holden models. And if we move along the back here, you can see that big angry V8 is smoking in today's weather. It does look incredible. It sounds unbelievable. And you will know exactly what I mean when you see this vehicle in person. Now the black and blue contrast all the way through this vehicle does look absolutely incredible. We've got the techno badging on the back there in that black with this chrome holding badging right in the middle and those black surrounded taillights just make it look really angry. Have also got that black rear bumper there with that black low, uh, low sitting boot spoiler which once again looks really nice as well. If we open the boot up very quickly you can see there is a tow bar fitted to this model not sure what you would be towing with this but if you did need to tow you've got plenty of torque for it which is good news now the sign that the previous owner has been looking after the vehicle as well is that rubber boot liner there as well i'll close that back up and if we have a look those, those quad chrome tipped exhausts do look really nice on the back of the vehicle really sets off the rear end having a look down this side of the vehicle the paintwork is in near showroom condition and all four alloy wheels are completely unmarked so that next wheel just like the others is completely unmarked and brand new tires at the time of the video as well paintwork does look absolutely stunning i do apologize that the car is wet we just had to find a break today between the rain to do this video but having a look at that next alloy wheel there once again just like the other three completely unmarked it looks absolutely stunning and these angles I cannot stress just how good this car looks in person. Take a look at the heart of this vehicle now it is that big powerful LS3 and sitting right on top of it is that huge Harrop supercharger with that Harrop intake there as well so Harrop kit all the way through it and tuned by Techno Performance this car does have an output power of 530 kilowatts at stage 3 the torque rating is a massive 870 newton meters. Now, the thing I love about how they have designed this engine is those blue rocker covers there. It does look absolutely stunning. We've got the aftermarket extractors that sit very comfortably under there. 
It ties in really well with that supercharger, really makes it pop, makes it stand out. And something I love about how genuine this vehicle is, is that it still has all its genuine build plate. So we've got that Techno Performance tuning uh, plate right there and the 2016 VF Series 2 genuine factory build plate right there as well. So it's really tastefully modified and you know it hasn't been just chopped together at some mechanic shop down the road. It is all genuine and it looks absolutely stunning. A look inside the Commodore now, starting off in the driver's side door, we do have that black suede trimming that goes throughout the door. On the door cards of these vehicles, they do have multiple textures. So there is the suede, the plastic, there is a little bit of carbon fiber here and the leather on the armrest. Now that piano black trim that does go around your power window controls does look really nice as well. And above your power window controls, you do get your power mirror buttons as well. Now the central locking lock and unlock buttons are next to the the door handle there. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, standard across the VF range, your headlight controls are right there. You do also get the brightness control for your cluster and next to that, being the Series 2, you do get your heads up display as well. So you've got all your controls for that on the right hand side there as well. Now on the right indicator, we have got your cruise control settings as well as your indicators. And on the left hand side here, you do get your washer and wiper settings. Now the steering wheel itself is really well designed in these VFs, it's really comfortable to hold. And on the right hand side is all your media settings as well as your hands-free call settings. And on the left hand side, your cruise control as well as your, uh, your lane departure warning, forward collision mitigation options as well. So really uh, well designed steering wheel, very comfortable to hold and it's got that carbon fiber trim throughout the middle as well having a look in the center display here if I put it in reverse quickly you can see you do actually get your reverse camera which the lines do actually turn to tell you when you are uh, where you're expected to reverse up to and when the car is in drive you actually get your park assist as well so uh, I will show you the button for that in a little bit but having a look at the screen in terms of your media you do get your AM and FM radio you've got your Bluetooth and this model does also come with the navigation so really uh, really good features there having a look below that you get your dual zone climate control so the passenger can have a different temperature to what you have but all the hard buttons for your air conditioning are right there as well there is a little bit of storage just down here if you did want to store your phone and you've got a 12 volt socket so if you wanted to charge it you can do so very comfortably now the shifter itself if you wanted to put it in drive and push it to the left you do get it in sports mode which will let you actually switch the gears manually using the shifter or the paddles behind the steering wheel behind this the shifter again you do get a little bit of storage probably good for keeping your keys or something considering it is keyless start just but next to that storage you've got your traction control button probably wouldn't recommend playing around with that too much in a car with this much power but behind that is your park assist button so the car will actually park itself if you're too scared of scratching your rims behind that is your parking sensors as well so you can turn them off on the right hand side we have got an electric electric park brake so it keeps it nice and tidy up for on and down for off behind that two very large cup holders and that leather wrapped center console if i open it up i've actually got a usb port and a 12 volt socket in there now if you're wondering what this uh hole here is for that is for if the battery in your key dies so if the battery in your key ever goes flat you can just put it in there and you will still be able to start the car having a look around the interior of the vehicle now it has been very well looked after all the leather is in good nick dashes all the plastic and even the roof is in really good nick as well so you do get a fully automatic sunroof in this vehicle as well guys thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video on this beautiful 2015 Commodore it is an incredible find with that techno kit on it so do not miss this opportunity because it is phenomenal value now one thing I would recommend is you protect your investment because this is one car you will not want to ruin please ask us about our glass coat because it would be an absolute shame if you bought this car without the glass coat on it that's going to give you a lifetime warranty on your paintwork and keep it looking brand spanking new for the rest of its life it will keep it in showroom condition so it's something you're going to want to invest in 
It is an extra cost, however, if you're using our in-house finance. Mario or Julie can tailor a finance package to suit your needs and it will only adjust your payments by a very small amount. And if you wanted any more information about the glass coat or the vehicle itself, please do give us a call on 9907-0555. And guys, do not miss this opportunity. I cannot stress this enough. This vehicle is absolutely beautiful and it is an incredible drive as well. So once again, the number to call is 9907-0555. Just before I go, go check out our Google reviews. We're sitting on 4.8 stars with over 900 reviews from customers Australia wide. So people enjoy dealing with us. We make the process nice and easy and make sure that you are getting into a good quality vehicle from the right people. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this walk around video and I hope it has been informative for you. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.